everybody. Welcome to Owl Zone, a weekly sports update where we bring you the latest info and highlights on your Kennesaw State Owls. It's raining outside, but it feels great in here. We're your hosts. I'm Danielle Jackson. And I'm Savannah Pratt. In case you missed any of the action from this week, we've got you covered. Let's take a look at highlights from this week in Owl Nation. The women's lacrosse team recorded their first win of the season on Sunday against Delaware State at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. The Owls posted a 17-7 win over the Hornets. Sophomore Taylor McGee led the charge to victory with four goals. Lacrosse is set to compete again on Sunday, March 1st, when they go on the road to face Campbell University. The Kennesaw State men's basketball team went on the road to take on two conference rivals this week. On Thursday, the Owls suffered a heartbreaking 54-53 loss to the FGCU Eagles. On Saturday, the Owls took the opportunity to redeem themselves with a 70-58 win over the Stetson Hatters. Junior Damian Wilson led the Owls to victory with 21 points over Stetson. The men will be back in action at home on Wednesday, February 25th against Northern Kentucky at the Kennesaw State Convocation Center. The baseball team took the road for a three-game weekend series against Jacksonville State University. KSU opened play on Friday with a 14-8 victory over the Gamecocks. On Saturday, the Owls split a doubleheader, winning the first game 4-2 before falling 11-4 in the second game, ultimately sealing the weekend series two games to one. The baseball team will travel to Athens on Wednesday, February 25th, to take on UGA. The softball team traveled to Troy, Alabama over the weekend. The Owls took a 4-2 loss to UConn on Friday and fell to Northern Illinois on Saturday in a 2-1 battle. The women return on Saturday afternoon to complete the weekend with a 7-4 win over Evansville. The women's basketball team hosted the top two teams in the conference, Florida Gulf Coast and Stetson at the Convocation Center this week. On Thursday, the women took a 71-60 setback to Florida Gulf Coast, and the Owls fell 70-58 to Stetson on Saturday. The Owls will take on Northern Kentucky on the road Wednesday, February 25th. On Friday, the men's track and field team celebrated their victory as the 2014 Atlantic Sun Outdoor Champions. The men came together for a special award ceremony where each individual received his customized ring. Track and field will compete in the Atlantic Sun Indoor Championships this coming weekend where they look to defend their title as A-Sun champs. It's been a great week for the Owls. It really has. Lacrosse has their first win of the season, baseball continues their winning ways, and men's basketball sweeps Stetson. Speaking of wins, let's take a look at our top three moments. At number three, Damian Wilson finds Orlando Coleman for an alley -oop. At number two, freshman Monica Albertson gets past two defenders for an easy goal. And at number one, Yanel Brown finds Damian Wilson in transition for the slam. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at KSU Owl Vision to be the first to see next week's episode. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter at KSU Owl Nation and like us on Facebook at Kennesaw State Owls. That'll do it for this week's episode of Owl Zone. I'm Danielle Jackson. And I'm Savannah Pratt. And as always, Go, go Owls! Owls.